So LinkedIn has always been kind of growing and evolving. So um, I just wanted to make a quick video and tell people how you can add a uh, featured content to your LinkedIn profile. So this is going to be a literal how to let's jump straight into it. Um, I apologize. It's going to look very weird. You're going to see me looking at me and then we're going to hop straight into my LinkedIn page. So let's take a look. See here. Now, um, if you already have something in your feature section, this is going to be pretty straightforward because you can just click this button. You can add whatever you want. But let's talk about some of these things. So, for example, um, if you don't have anything in your feature section, this entire area is going to be gone. It'll be empty space and it'll just jump straight into like your dashboard, your activity, blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, this confused me and I didn't know how to get the feature section back, which is why I'm making this video. So when you want to add something to your feature section and you haven't used it and it's not on the page yet, you can click at profile section, um, open up this drop down and then you'll open up another drop down for feature content and you can add like a few things. So, um, for example, adding posts mean adding a post that you actually made to LinkedIn. So, for example, these are all posts that um, I've made. So you could add a post um, to your feature profile, like maybe. Um, you know, your boot camp shouted you out or you were featured in an article or something like that. Or you had like a LinkedIn post that resonated with a lot of people. Um, you could drop that there, for example. Um, the second thing that we can add is an article. But this is LinkedIn articles, not articles in the sense of like what you posted on Medium. So if you want to share some of your writing or you want to share like a YouTube video, you'll need to make an actual LinkedIn post. OK, just keep that in mind. Um, obviously I'm a talker. I'm not a big writer. Um, so I don't have a lot of articles to share. If you want to add a link to your portfolio that's in this featured section, like how I've done, you can add that as a link. Um, and after you add your link, you'll be able to give like a title and a short description. I'm just pretty much catering to like recruiters, hiring managers, just making it easy, making it real, real easy for them, um, to pretty much find what they need. Um, now media is interesting. So media, this is how you can add your, uh, resume as a PDF. For example, this is how you could add like a short video to introduce yourself as an example, if, um, you're into that type of stuff. Um, so you can do a lot with this media section. Also, you still get to add a title and a description. That's pretty much all we need to cover in this video. Um, I would encourage everyone to put something here. I mean, it's free real estate. If you don't know what else to put there, just literally do what I did. Drop your resume here and drop a link to your portfolio. If you don't have a portfolio, drop a link to your GitHub. Um, if your GitHub, if you're feeling like insecure about your GitHub, then drop maybe like a media post here of like the last project that you've worked on and, you know, just give people an idea of like what you learned throughout that process. So, uh, once again, I'm going to apologize. Very, very weird transition here. Boom. All right. So I wanted to make this video because when I was going back to add stuff, uh, to the feature section on my LinkedIn profile, I just found myself lost. I didn't know where the option was anymore. <laughs> so if you need more, uh, literal videos like this, um, please let me know uh, what will be helpful for you to know and we can just walk through it. Until then, I will see y'all next time. Thank you for joining me on my job hunt journey. Peace.